You know, solving or resolving a particular issue that involves direct variation can be done in a variety of different ways. And I want to show you two ways of looking at things. You should find the one that you like the best and embrace it as your own. But they're both correct, and you can use either one. So here's the question. The value of y, we're told, varies directly with x. And y equals 6 when x equals 30. Our question is to find y when x equals 45. But one way to do it is just to actually try to find the the formula for this direct variation. Well, how could I do that? Well, I know that the formula will equal y equals kx, because I'm told that, that y varies directly with x. So there we have it. We also know that it's going to satisfy the following. When x equals 30, y has to be 6. That means if I plug in 30 for x and 6 for y, this equation has to hold. That will allow me to figure out the k. So in particular, I'd have 6 equals k times 30. And if I divide both sides by 30 to undo the multiplication of 30, I would see that k equals 1 fifth. And so I'd see that y equals 1 fifth, that's the k, times x. So that's the actual direct variation. You might think that's the end of the, the, the question and that we're done, but no, because remember, the question is to find y when x equals 45. So what do I have to do now? I've got to take this expression and let x equal 45 and find y. So if I plug in 45 for x, I see that y equals 1 fifth times 45. And so that's the same thing as 45 divided by 5, which is 9. And so the answer is 9, right? When x is 45, y is going to be 9, given that they vary directly and they satisfy these two things. So that's one way. And if you like that way, that's great. But there's a different way. Because in fact, when you have a direct variation, you really, in the background, have a proportion. So let me show you a different but equivalent way of looking at this question. See, one way is to set up um, two ratios equal to each other and produce a proportion. You see, here's how to do it. Since they vary directly, then you could say this. You can say, well, y is to 45 as 6 is to 30. Those two ratios will be the same. So we set up a proportion. y is to 45 as 6 is to 30. Why? Because that k should be the same. y over x should equal y over x. So y over x should equal y over x. OK? Well, we could simplify this a little teeny bit. And we'd see here, this is 1 fifth. And by the way, just a little note, since we already know the answer, notice that 1 fifth is, in fact, the k we found. So that can, but we're not supposed to know that. That's, that's top secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. So we have 1 fifth. Well, now we have to solve this ratio. y over 45 equals 1 fifth. And so we can use the old cross product. Love the cross product. Can't live without the cross product. And if we do that, we see 5y equals 45. And again, just between the two of us, notice that's looking very familiar to what we had before, because I see y equals 45 over 5. Deja vu? No, it's just correct math. And we see again the answer of 9. So either method is going to lead to the answer of 9. And it's just a matter of how you like to think about this. Do you like to think about things as y is to 45 as 6 is to 30? That's great. Or do you like to think about things saying direct variation equals that, I'll plug in values and find the k, and then solve? Either one is absolutely fine. You should pick the one that you like best. Direct variation, you can do it.